Hey, this is Chris with Big River Yoga. Uh, today we're going to do a sequence around opening up the front hip flexors in yoga today. So we'll be using a couple blocks to do that. Um, and we're going to get into the hip flexors because this is really some deep musculature in the front of the pelvis that is connected to our reptilian brain, which really is about our flight, fight, freeze response to traumatic situations. So we can get triggered and hunch over for protection and really engage and tighten up this front body. So a lot of us here in Minneapolis are feeling the intensity of the moment. And I think it's a useful practice to help release and open these deep muscles that really hold on and experience trauma. So I'm hoping this is a healing practice for you. Let's begin by centering and take a couple breaths. So feel your spine uplifted and tune in and feel your breath. Settle into yourself, into your breath, your body. And then join your hands in front of your heart. I'll begin with the Sahana Bhavatu Mantra. Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahana Unaktu Sahaviryam Karavavahai Tejasvina Vadita Mastu Ma Vishavahai Om Shanti 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 Okay, to begin our practice, let's start out standing. And like I said, we're going to use the blocks. And we're going to start out using just one block and stand on it. So we're going to do a side stretch getting into the hips. So put your right foot on the block and then let's go ahead, I'll mirror, let's go ahead and reach the arms up and go ahead and hold your left wrist with your right hand and extend your opposite left heel down as you lift up from the hips. So lift the torso Lean away, balance, reach through the extended leg, heel, toes, open the throat, and we'll release. We'll take it right into the other side, left foot on the block. Take a hold of your right wrist. You can have your tippy toes down if that helps, or float the foot, and reach through the heel, toes, lift the heart so you're lifting out of the hips and release. Okay, now we'll move the blocks to the front of the mat and please stand facing the short edge of the mat. Inhale and slowly lift your arms up and exhale, open the heart forward and bend forward into Uttanasana and touch your blocks. Please extend and cast the heart in front to lengthen the torso. And exhale. Please go ahead and take a nice forward bend. Again, we'll inhale and lengthen the spine. And exhale. Please again fold into Uttanasana. And this time, just bend the knees and open the arms. And let's rise up with the arms lifted. And exhale, bring the palms together right down through your heart center. We'll do that again. So release the arms by your sides. And then inhale and slowly lift up. And exhale, let's pour the heart forward. And touch down to the blocks. And then inhale and extend your torso out. And then we'll fold again into Uttanasana. And bend the knees, open the arms wide this time, and rise up and lift your heart, lift your arms. And exhale, please bring your hands, palms together. 
Release the arms and again sweep up and exhale. Open the heart as you fold forward, stabilizing with the help of the legs and feet planted. Again, lengthen. And this time, let's go ahead. Please step your left leg back into Virabhadrasana position. So the heel is down, toes are turned out. And then from here, let's go ahead and take your left arm forward and your right hand back. And let's work on really reaching up through that left side, the side that the back foot is stretched back on. And then you could take the right arm up to meet the left and stretch up. Push into the back heel all the way from the upper inner leg, getting into the root there of the psoas. Reach up with your spine, but relax the shoulders. And then exhale. Let's go ahead and come forward. Touch the blocks and step forward. Please inhale to lengthen. And we'll step the opposite leg back. Exhale. Plant the heel. And now here, take your right arm forward, left hand back. Stretch up through the front body, the hip flexor, as you push into the back heel all the way from the inner thigh. Then take your left arm up, hook the thumbs if you can, and reach up through the torso. Now to get into the front of the hips, rather than the lower back, let's Emphasize rooting the tail and lifting the pubic plate. So root the tail, lift the pubic plate. So you're lifting up out of the pelvis as you ground. Good. And then from here, let's go ahead and release. Reach forward, exhale. And then inhale and step and lengthen. And exhale and fold. Rise up slowly with the help of the legs. Let's open the arms and lift the heart. Stretch the arms up. And then exhale, palms together. Release the hands by your sides. And inhale again. Sweep up. Slowly move. Exhale with your breath. Fold into Uttanasana. Touch your blocks. Extend your torso. Inhale. Now this time, we'll step the left knee back. So the knee comes down. And then from here, put the right hand behind your back and bring the left arm up. When you have the right hand behind your back, you can have the palm down low by your tail and the fingertips up by the upper sacrum. Move your hips back into your hand but push the hand, drawing the elbow back to stretch the shoulder. Now lift up out of your hips and stretch into Anjaneyasana. And then we'll release. Touch the blocks. And with your hands on the blocks, we're going to step into Downward Dog. Reach your hips up and back with your hands on the blocks. And then from here, let's go ahead and change sides. Bring the left leg forward, right knee is down. Bring your right arm up. And then we'll put the hand behind the back with the fingertips up and the palm down. So you move the hips back, but push the base of the palm against the tail, encouraging a rooting action. Breathe, lift the pubic plate, support yourself. This is not about pushing, it's about opening lightly up from the hips. And then let's release, touch the blocks, and please step forward. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale and fold. Ground the feet, open the arms to stand. Inhale, rise up, lift the heart, lift the spine, and exhale. Palms down. Find your center. Let's take a moment standing in Tadasan, Mountain Pose, just to feel your feet on the floor, your breath in your body, and your spine uplifted. Again, inhale. Let's lift the arms. Exhale, and then fold. 
touch your blocks, inhale, and exhale, let's walk back to plank. Lower your knees. Now this next one, we're going to take these blocks and put your forearms onto the blocks with the palms face up. From here, we're going to walk the knees back and lower your hips forward and pull with the elbows gently pressing down, pull the heart forward. So reach your tail, start to engage through the lumbar, the lower back muscles, the glutes. And let's go ahead and melt the heart a bit. Keep the chest as broad as possible, collarbones broadening, tail rooted, pubic bone lifts. Let's go ahead and soften the chin, soften the forehead. Feel the front body and let the diaphragm and the positioning with the support of the blocks really help the opening. Soften through the upper back as you pull your heart forward, but root the tail strongly. Good. Let's take another breath. Palms are softly open. And then slowly, let's use the abdominals. Lift the core. Lift your hips. Walk the knees in. Come onto your hands, on the blocks, into Downward Dog. Reach up and back through your hips. With the blocks, of course, the arms are uplifted. Some of you might be able to root more through the heels, but especially lift the low belly to get into some length and extension through the lower back right into the tail, into the heels. Good, and then from here, let's go ahead and inhale, come forward to plank. And then as you exhale, let's go ahead and flip the feet. So point the toes back of the left foot, then the right foot. Let's lower the hips, but keep the chest open. And we do a block supported up dog. So tail roots, heart is open using the blocks to get into the front of the hips. And then let's go ahead and release, tuck the toes, move your hips back, and again, be in downward dog on your blocks. Breathe as you stretch. Okay. Now slowly release, lower your knees. Let's take a moment to sit down on the heels and take a few breaths. Just relax the back of your hands on the thighs and lift the heart, but relax the shoulders and just feel your center. Okay. Now from here, what we'll do is we're going to do a supine stretch using a block. So when we do this, let's go ahead and flip over onto your back. We're going to use a block underneath the hips. With the block underneath the back of your sacrum, let's go ahead and then take your right knee up to your body. With the right knee up, you might find that your pelvis tilts up. It lifts off of the blocks. So I'm going to encourage you to then forward tilt the pelvis so the sacrum is down and find that balance between drawing the knee in and lifting the hips. And then we'll extend through the opposite left leg to get into, again, this hip flexor. Let the sacrum soften down even as you have the knee up, left leg extends. When you extend through the left leg, extend from the very upper inner thigh all the way out through the inner heel. Breathe into it. 
Allow your belly to be receptive. And we'll take another breath. And you can explore with the right hand on the right knee, just opening the knee just slightly out. The left hand can rest on your belly. And then we'll come back to center and simply lower the right foot down to the floor with the knee bent. And then we'll transition. If you need to adjust your hips so the back of the sacrum stays down on the block, please do. And now we'll take the left knee up. Give your left knee a little gentle squeeze without tilting the pelvis. So you might have to forward tilt the pelvis even as you draw the knee up. And go easy. You don't have to pull the knee so hard. Just gently invite the hip flexor to relax there. And then here we'll slowly extend the right heel, sliding the heel on the floor away from you gently as you extend. Left knee draws up, right leg extends, reach from all the way in the inner thigh to the heel. Breathe and let the belly be receptive again. Again, you can let your right hand rest in your belly and open the left knee out just to explore, releasing. And then return back. Lower the sole of the left foot and bend your right knee. Let's take the block out from underneath the hips and rest for a moment on your back. Let the sacrum release and your spine release. Okay, and then from here I'll invite you to use a little support underneath the back of your knees for a resting pose. Shavasana. So when you rest, the sacrum can release, the legs and hips can open up, and you allow your belly to softly distend as you breathe in and fall down to the spine as you breathe out. Allow the sacrum to rest on the floor and your breath to flow easily, gently. Again, belly gently distends out and down. And as you exhale, easy breath, the belly comes in, releases down to the ground. Inhale, allow the belly to distend down and out. And exhale again, naturally, easily. Let the breath move out. Belly draws slightly in. And slowly just allow the breath to flow on its own. Allow the back to release and start to settle. Feel the earth and know that you're held, that at this moment you are safe. At this moment you are well. Try to settle and relax. So I invite you to give yourself at least 10 minutes to rest and let go. 
Thank you for practicing. Rest and be well. Namaste.